Hello everyone and welcome back to my RP2000 career in Kerbal Space Program 1.12. We have completed the lunar flyby contract and we owe the contract system a completion of successful re-entry. Uh, for some reason it read that as complete even though I didn't actually do it. So I feel compelled to actually fulfill that one. Now as far as our technology is concerned, survivability is done in 19 days. So I figure we should just time warp to that and then we'll do that mission we don't have anything there and so we're not gonna get anything out of it directly but we will have already gotten the money for it so fair is fair we should get done ah oh, she can just warp like this i don't know why i completed i looked at the criteria for the um, the successful re-entry mission and i don't see why it was complete all right, so uh, we haven't finished the survivability yet, but we do have the other rocket here, the Serenity 2. So we can do a lunar impactor mission potentially, but we were cutting it really close with the lunar flyby. I think we definitely want to have the tracking station upgrade before we try that. So anyway, let's continue time warping through to completion of survivability, and then we will try to launch something that survives. Well, we might as well use the same rocket. I wonder how big a thing it can launch. We should just use the payload adapter as our actual payload the top of it. I sort of want RCS control, and so we're going to have a reversed version of this tank here. We need that. We need a parachute, of course. Um, I don't know if I can... I can't scale that one, I don't think. I guess we'll have to unlock uh, that traditional one for for real shoots. Let me just size them down. Oops. That's as small as they get. Okay, how wide is that? I feel like a one meter one will do. We'll probably unlock all of them eventually. Oh, that's way too big. That's just about right. Maybe I should just have the fairing down here. Um, we'll just have a regular procedural uh, payload adapter. Okay, well, there's definitely a staging error here. Okay, well, technically that's enough to get to orbit. Maybe we don't need something so fancy like the ether engine. Well, to deorbit, maybe we want its reignition capability though. Comms. Let's fix comms. Well, that should be all right. Why am I forgetting power? Let's see. That only has 21.6 electric charge. Okay, we need power. Gotta slap some CubeSat batteries on the top of it. Don't want to put solar panels. Okay, let's try and knock this out. Serenity... Serenity was normally a moon thing, so we'll call it the Serenity E when it's just Earth. Build time seems a little bit long though. We do have some science available. Mainly I'm waiting for a tracking station upgrade though. I should probably spend on the mission control upgrade. Just so that we can do flight planning. Might as well get that started. I don't know if it'll slow down our building, though. I guess I'll try. It did- oh, it's it's in sequence, okay. Alright. No, that didn't benefit at all either way. Alright, let's roll out the Serenity E. And launch. We don't have any particular inclination to go into or anything to line up with. We just need to make sure to bring this back down. So throttle up. SAS is on. Ignition. And launch. Hopefully our tiny little heat shield with its tiny little bit of a blader is the right amount for this. The thing is very light. It's basically just parachutes in the control core. Okay, we're past the speed of sound. Everything looking all right. Okay, and staging. And 
fairings. So taking a look at our electric charge consumption, 0.11 right now. Um, that means we've got basically one orbit, one and a half hours. Okay, well, no big surprises so far. Okay, I'll get it to 300 on the opposite side. There we go. Alright, so we are in orbit. See, we're doing success. We are doing a successful re entry. Really, really. And we need to come back down before the electric charge goes away because I have no way of recharging. So let's do that. We just picked up Australia. Alright. Okay. Ignition. Okay, we'll take that 52 ish. Okay. I am going to arm the parachutes while I still can. Separating the stage. Okay, and then surface negative relative velocity. Oop, these guys should be active. Oh no! I didn't have the hydrazine tanks. These are hydrazine thrusters, but that's the MMH and Mon 3 tank. Uh-oh. I did not see that coming. Okay, maybe, hopefully, it'll randomly orient properly in the atmosphere. It's shaped the right way. Okay, if you could stay right there, that would be good. <laughs> Please. Please stay oriented right. Or close. This might be close enough. Okay. Atmosphere. Okay. Try. Try to be aerodynamic in the right direction. Not the wrong direction. You're going to the wrong direction. It's going nose first. Yeah, well, there goes that thing. Uh, well, it should, if pointed in this direction, have everything explode. All right, yeah, all right, fine. Ah, oh, I can't believe I got the wrong tank. Fine. This was for the... What you got? A little thruster on it instead. Okay, we were waiting for the tracking station upgrade anyway, so we have time. It's a cheap rocket. It's fine. It's not that cheap, actually. Um, I feel like we need more power. We barely had enough for one orbit. Just gonna double them up, make sure that we've got some extra battery packs there. You know what? While that's under construction, just to change things up a bit, we... Well, no, I'm not going to do the... Uh, I was thinking of sending over the lunar impact. Oh, there's another lunar flyby one. But yeah, I'd rather wait until we get the tracking station done for that. Achieve geostationary orbit. Oh, there was that one satellite we could do. But I would be using the lunar mission for that. Let's not do that. Alright, let's just wait. Let us try that again with the right fuel. SAS on, throttle is up, ignition. And launch. Getting above the clouds. And we're past the speed of sound. Okay, staging. And fairings. Okay, staging. Little leather engine again. 
Okay, pretty darn circular orbit this time, 188 by 184. I might regret that though, because of line of sight with our surface locations. Maybe I should boost up more. Hmm. Alright, I'm gonna do that. We might as well give this a little bit more work. Let's say 400 kilometers. Just to get ourselves a little bit more room. Ooh, let's conserve that hydrazine for turning around. Okay, we've got some data units, but we're still definitely not anywhere close to having all the data units, even for the ether engine, which we've used quite a lot. Okay, 50 kilometers is a bit harsh, but all right. Once again, let me just arm the parachutes. Double check that we've got hydrazine up there this time. Yes, we do. Normal. Okay, separation. Well, that seems to be working. Oh, this battery seems busted. Heart is new. Yeah, but it's busted. It's colored red. I missed that. Oh, scrap must have done that. And we lost another one. Gosh. Oh, scrap is harsh. I'm gonna spin. Can I spin? Okay, that's not a good idea. Uh oh, uh oh. No, don't, don't. Why? Why tilt? You shouldn't be tilting. Stop that. You're symmetrical. You're symmetrical, <laughs> please. You're as flat as can be. No. Oh. Back to Space Center. I'm gonna try something completely different. <laughs> let's let's just try something completely different while we're still waiting for a tracking station upgrade. I'm gonna build a rocket to fulfill that that one satellite mission. Let's do that. We didn't need the Commutatron 16 for it. We're not communicating to the moon. We'll boost a UHF band here. That gives us plenty of Delta V to get into the very peculiar orbit we need to get to. But we might as well eke out a little bit more. Okay, maybe not that much more. Just just that. That'll be fine. Okay. Trying for that weird inclination orbit. 2.7 degrees. Well, we're a little bit down on money. So we better fulfill this mission. We also shouldn't get these two mixed up. One has a moon antenna and the other doesn't. What if what if the parachutes weren't properly hold on a sec. Were the parachutes imbalanced? Did the apply symmetry thing not work? This one says 0.42. This one has a part mass of 0.08. Ah, that's why. Look, the nice smaller one. It should be the same as the other one. Okay, now it says 0 0.062 for that one. Okay, you're both 0 0.062 now, right? 0 0.062. Okay, I think it was the parachutes. We'll build another one. We know about Elon somewhat, but I don't think we would say that we know Elon. Do we really know Elon? Does Elon even know Elon? Okay, launch. Okay, throttle up SAS. Right, okay, this version doesn't have the payload adapter. That's fine, that's perfectly alright. No SAS, we'll just use smart ASS. Ignition. 
And launch. Alright, we're past the speed of sound. Okay, staging. Okay, fairing up. Okay, separation and ignition. Okay, and shut down for now. I want it a little bit higher so that we get comms. Now we have to wait until we get to the equator where we can at that descending node, which is now 30 degrees, uh, boost up to that ascending node, and then we'll do the inclination correction. Okay, boost up burn. So 1,250-ish. Nope, that didn't work. Well, let me correct that a little bit. Uh, uh oh, I think I ran out of RCS there. Whoops. Done that. Okay, maybe that's close enough. I don't want to waste too much more hydrazine. Okay, can we communicate with Amalek here? Because we're going to need to. Okay. Let's try and start that inclination burn now. I'm uh, making it appear an inclination burn since I can't plot it ahead of time. It should have the effect of raising our periapsis somewhat. We can shade a little bit prograde if we need to. No, we're getting to ascending node a little bit sooner than I would like. I think we'll come around and do another burn here. Mm, I don't know if I should have reserved some... You know what, let me just finish this stage. Okay, separation. Let's get rid of the extra stuff. We're gonna have comms this time around. Oh, Gamber is really doing a lot of work there. Okay, we should probably start now. I'm gonna shade it a little bit prograde here to lift the periapsis to 1250. Right now we're trying to get into that orbit, the purple orbit. And so we need to change our inclination from this orbit to that one, which is 15 degrees now and closing. But it takes a long time. We've got this little engine here. This is a 100 Newton engine. It's a RCS port, really. Gosh, we might have to go around again, even. That's not correcting very quickly, is it? Come on, 13 degrees. There we go. Shoot. Okay, I'll take 12 for now. Let's go around again. This actually technically has limited ignitions. It's just 40. Delta B wise, we should have enough. We still got 2,000 according to that one. But that one's always wrong, so 1,900 here. So I think we can correct the inclination with that. It's just taking a while. Those lines are getting pretty stretched now. Okay, that's. I don't know. I'm worried that they're gonna get a little bit too stretched, so now I'll wait. Okay, ignition once again. Oh, uh, we are, are we're going too high. Oops. We're getting a little bit far away from that ascending node though. Well, I wish you told me how far away it is. One more burn. 
Uh, yeah, let's wait until we're at the ascending node and do one more burn. Okay, well, I have to be in this view to see that whether we fulfill the orbit or not. It'll, oh, there we go, it's happy, it's happy. Okay, maintaining stability. Alright, this gets to stick around as a commsat, but we did fulfill that contract. Let's go back to Space Center.